Shipping your RNA samples to LC Sciences. The instructions in the following video will help to ensure that your samples arrive on time and in good condition. If you haven't already, please go to our website and download a copy of the sample submission form that is specific for the type of service that you're ordering. Please fill out the sample submission form as completely as possible, as this will ensure the proper handling of your samples when they arrive at LC Sciences. Next, print a hard copy of the form, as this will be included in the box with your sample. Also email a copy of the form to sales at lcsciences.com. Please email the Excel form directly and not a PDF copy of the form. For shipping, we recommend transferring your samples to a 1.5 mil Eppendorf tube. We found that smaller tubes can crack when frozen, so please don't use these 1 mil Eppendorf tubes or an even smaller 0.5 mil Eppendorf tube. These tubes will crack when frozen. Also, make sure that the sample name on the tube matches the name on the sample submission form exactly. After you have transferred your sample, please wrap each of the Eppendorf tubes with parafilm as this will eliminate the possibility of sample leakage during shipment. Next, place all of the Eppendorf tubes into a Ziploc storage bag and seal the bag. Then place the Ziploc storage bag inside a 50 mil conical tube. The Ziploc bag will prevent the tubes from rattling around inside the 50 mil conical. And the 50 mil conical will protect the Eppendorf tubes from being crushed by dry ice inside the thermal shipping box. Place the 50 mil conical tube containing your samples into a thermal shipping box. We recommend a box with a wall thickness of at least 1.5 inches. Add dry ice to the shipping box. Try to fill the box almost completely. Leave about one inch of space at the top of the box. Then add a regular ice pack to the top of the box. We've found this mix of dry ice and ice packs will keep the samples the coldest for the longest. Seal the thermal shipping box with packing tape. This step is very important to ensure that the dry ice lasts. Place the thermal shipping container inside the shipping box and then place the hard copy of the sample submission form inside the box as well. In the case that you don't have a cardboard shipping box, you can ship the thermal container directly. We still need you to place the sample submission form inside the box with the samples, but in this case, we need you to place the sample form inside a Ziploc bag before putting it in the box with the samples. This will prevent the form from getting wet from the ice and dry ice inside the box. At this time, you will need to weigh the box, or at least approximate the weight of the box. We recommend shipping your samples with a minimum of two kilograms of dry ice. The law requires that all shipments containing dry ice bear this sticker indicating the approximate weight of the dry ice within the shipment. Next, complete the shipping label for the overnight carrier of your choice. The weight of the shipment is also indicated here. When the form is completed, tear off the appropriate copy for your records. Last, place the label on the shipping box and you're ready to go. Some carriers may have a local drop box in your area or you can always schedule a pickup. You should expect to receive an email from us the following day when we receive your samples. Thanks for watching.